But the, uh, they decided they were going to make 300 moderns. So we had the pattern shop here, we had to make the tooling, and Marty Locke says, Jim, you, you guys might as well make those. I said, Marty, you're closing the plant. Might as well make them in Nashville. So that's what they did. So we okay. made that first batch, and then from there, they started making them, and then we prototyped a lot of guitars. A lot of stuff, yeah. And they'd say, well, okay, it looks like it looks like a cheaper in Kalamazoo, and, and why do you say, well, wait, wait a minute, I can take this out, and, and, and Marty would like to say, well, wait a minute, you had your chance. You're not, you're not gonna, you're not gonna re refiguring the numbers. This is this, this is this the way it is. And uh, so I thought, well, they're gonna they're gonna keep it in Kalamazoo for a while, and they did for a while. But then, you know, it, 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 they 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 seen that the demand was not gonna increase, so they decided, well, we're gonna make a decision. They kept having feasibility studies going back and forth. Yeah. I mean, the, the, we, we had two plants sucking wind, both both of them operating at half capacity, and they're trying to make a decision one way or the other. You know, but it was desperate to go yeah. to Nashville to the new modern plant and this and that. You know, and and you know we seen the writing on the wall. You know, but yeah. but like I said, <laughs> it was a contract negotiated with the union. That we could have, you know, we could have rehired all of them people at a lower rate, labor rate, and uh, you know, made the guitars cheaper than they were doing it in Nashville.